Hey guys, perhaps it makes sense to speak about duplicate values in data frames and how we can um, handle them, right? So um, duplicate values, sometimes we speak about duplicate rows, so the entire row can be repeated you know, more than once, or sometimes in just one column, a value can be repeated more than once. Uh, let's create our data frame to see uh, how that works and what we mean by that. So this is the data frame that we saw before, the cities, ranks, and scores. We, if we look at the rows, we don't have any entire rows being repeated, but if we look at certain, we look at certain columns, like for example, the city column, then Tripoli is repeated, Sydney is repeated, and Rome is repeated. Now, to display which rows uh, are, uh, you know, duplicates are repeated, we have the df.duplicated uh, duplicated method, we run that and it gives me all false so it returns basically um, a vector of uh, boolean values true or false anyone that says true that means the entire row is repeated and because no row is repeated here uh, they're all false so if we look at the documentation I prefer to have it on a separate page and here it says return boolean series denoting duplicate rows optionally only considering certain columns so by default it looks at it looks at all the columns so entire rows but we can tell it to look at uh, certain columns so i can tell it for example look at um look at the city column and you notice here false false and then true so because triple is the very first one we don't know whether it's repeated not, or, or not yet Sydney is the first appearance of Sydney, but Tripoli here, the third row, we've seen it before, that's why, that's why here it says true, so it's repeated. Rome, the first one, uh, is false, this one here, and then the fourth one is true, and then the rest of them will be true, 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 because we've seen them before. I hope that here makes sense. Likewise, for rank, you can specify, um, you know, which column, or maybe even... A group of column rank and city okay the same idea hold so Tripoli first uh, is repeated because we've seen it before Tripoli first the combination of the two columns right so we can have one or more columns what other options do we have uh, keep first yeah so it looks at the first one that's not repeated and then anything after that is going to be considered as a repeat by default it's first, I can copy that and say um, last, so if I do last, this will just be the other way around, last, so last, triply first here, this one says true, It be this one will be true and this one will be false, it'll be the other way around, in fact not even that, this, oh yeah, this one will be uh, number two is false, yeah, number four, one is true. I hope that idea makes sense. It considers the very last appearance of the repeated value as the one that is the original value and then the other ones are repeated, right? So I can change that to first for the idea to make more sense. Yeah. Uh, another issue now is what if we wanted to remove these duplicates? Well, I can say df dot drop duplicates by default, it drops duplicate rows, and because we don't have any duplicate rows, the data frame is as is. But I can tell it, for example, to drop duplicate rows by considering city. And you will see that we will only have a data frame that has three rows, or maybe city and rank, which is pretty much the same, which is pretty much almost the same thing, right? It's now, it's now considering the combinations because I have triple first and triple second. It's taken both of them at the same time. So, uh, triple first, triple second are not a repetition. Okay. Other option for drop duplicates is um, I can keep the first or keep last. We've seen that. And then I can do it in place. In place means that, you know, don't create a new data frame because if we do it like that, uh, this is creating a new data frame. So, I can say the new data frame now has the result. But if I do it in place, the actual df data frame will be affected and the change will happen immediately in it. So if I display the contents of df, it will have, uh, I'm sorry, because it's still false, so I can say true, and now df will have only six rows because 
we've told it to uh, remove duplicates and rewrite on the same data frame. How the idea makes sense. So it's quite easy to spot and handle duplicate values in Panda data frames. The same thing um, should apply for uh, series, although I have to admit I've not tried it, but it should, it should exactly be the same thing. Let me stop here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.